This video demonstrates methods for decontaminating otoliths and core samples in preparation for bomb radiocarbon or stable oxygen isotope analysis. Decontamination removes most of the dirt and oils that get picked up during sectioning and micromilling, although it won't remove contaminants that are bonded on like epoxy. Preparation for elemental analysis is similar with the exception of using special acid wash vials not shown in this demonstration. The entire process takes 48 hours. All decontamination is done in the clean cell air workstation. The clean cell is a reverse flow laminar hood fan filter module designed by Microzone Corporation and creates a positive airflow through a HEPA filter in a contained environment which helps keep the samples contaminant free. Turn it on before you begin your decontamination session. Be sure to wipe down all surfaces with 95% ethanol before working with your samples. Particular cleaning attention should be given to the working surface of the clean cell. Always wear plastic gloves when working with samples in the clean cell. Only ultra-clean chemicals, equipments and instruments made of Teflon, polyethylene and polypropylene are to be used during the decontamination process. It is very important to keep all fluids other than Super-Q water out of the clean cell, especially oils and natural oils found on the skin, which can ruin radiocarbon and isotope assays. Metal instruments are not used in the clean cell workstation at any time because the station is also used for elemental analysis. You should also remove any metal objects you may be wearing like watches or jewelry. Be sure to fill the ultrasonic cleaner to the fill line with Super-Q or Millipore water. We use a Cole Parmer model 8892 ultrasonic cleaner with timer. Super-Q water is ultra-clean water that has passed through a reverse osmosis machine, then deionized, filtered, and treated to 18.2 mega ohms resistance. The samples should be removed from their current vials and placed in a dry, labeled, acid wash vial. Fill each vial with Super-Q water. The next step is to sonicate and rinse the samples. The samples are sonified to help remove any adhering particles from the samples. Place sample vials in the orange vial holder and place the in the ultrasonic cleaner for five minutes. After cleaning, the samples are going to be triple rinsed with Super-Q water and then placed back in their vials with more Super-Q added as before. Decant the water out carefully into the waste cup. Be careful when doing this as you do not want the samples poured out with the waste water. If this happens at any stage during the decontamination process, you must start the cleaning process over from the beginning. The samples need to be rinsed three times. To rinse, add Super-Q water, close the vial and then shake with your hand for about 30 seconds. Pour the wastewater into the waste cup and repeat this procedure two more times. Then refill the vial so it is almost full and place back in the ultrasonic cleaner for another five minutes. Once finished the second cleaning, repeat the triple rinse procedure again, decanting the remaining water into the waste cup as before. Once you've finished the cleaning and rinsing, the samples will need to be dried. Place the sample vials in the acrylic holder with the tops open and allow the samples to dry for about two days. Make sure the clean cell is left on to maintain a positive air pressure while the samples are drying. Once the samples are thoroughly dry, they need to be weighed on the balance before being shipped. We use a Mettler AE240 balance scale. Weights are recorded on the data sheet and are taken to the nearest tenth of a milligram. As always, the samples are handled with plastic gloves to avoid contamination. Use a dry, empty acid wash vial and tear it on the balance. Samples are taken 
to the balance to be weighed one at a time. Transfer the dried sample quickly to an empty vial in the clean cell and place the cap on. Try to minimize the time the sample remains outside the vial exposed to the ambient air. Place the vial on the balance, close the balance door, and record the weight to the nearest tenth of a milligram on a data sheet. When finished, place the sample back in its vial and continue on with the next sample. For packaging, use new and dry acid washed conical vials and label them. The conical vial makes it easier to remove a very small sample, which often weighs barely more than a milligram. Transfer the samples one by one to the new vials in the clean cell and secure the tops. As mentioned before, never handle the otolith sample with your bare hands. Always use plastic gloves to avoid contamination. You can then move outside the clean cell and apply a unique identifier number and place a piece of cellophane tape over the top of the vial. The samples are then double bagged in plastic sealable bags, such as Ziploc, and are ready for shipping.